Honduras. Honduras is, uh, guys, uh, right now population around 8 million. Um, for many years, uh, Honduras was labeled either center or center right, right? Mm. And then gradually, in the last 20, 30 years, uh, considering everything that has been taking place in Latin America, it's a miracle that they actually were able to hang in there being center, center right. Mm -hmm. um, today, we have uh, um, an administration in Honduras that is, is essentially uh, a socialist mm -hmm. administration. They claim to be, uh, they are forming alliances with, uh, and that'll give you a quick idea of how bad things are going there. Uh, with, with people like uh, Ortega from Nicaragua and Maduro from Venezuela, right? Mm -hmm. So so that alignment tells you, you know what I mean, <laughs> what the whole thing is going on. Who are you smoking with? Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and during for, for many years, you know, when you see one of the things that China has been doing strategically, right, is to extend their influence throughout the region, mm -hmm. right? It's like little by little, you know, making every single one of what used to be either a natural ally or somebody had a natural, fairly good relationship with the United States to go out there and put a little more pressure by um, having a financial position in the country. Mm -hmm. But Honduras was was for, uh, guys, I can't even tell you for how long, you know what I mean? For so many years, was in a very good relationship with um, Taiwan. In Taiwan, obviously, as you know, there's a significant issue between China and Taiwan. China claiming that Taiwan is naturally part of China. Uh, Taiwan claiming independence, which I think that they had more than proved and established that they have not only an independent economy, but also an independent way of... Uh, but I'm going to tell you, Chinese government is very aggressive when it comes to um, controlling everything. You are going back to, uh, um, you know, the current leadership of, of China is literally behaving almost like back in the days of Mao, you know what I mean? What is, is mm. central, is absolute, you know what I mean? Is there's no, imagine a guy that gets elected by everybody. Mm -hmm. Like his election was 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could be a good leader, but 100%, really? Nobody came out and said, no, listen, no. this guy crazy, nobody, yeah. right? So here's what they ended up doing, right? Starting with Honduras, trying to send a signal to the United States. Because remember, the signal was maybe not even against Taiwan. The signal was maybe against the United States himself. Mm -hmm. We are going to become friends with a guy who's actually your enemy. Mm -hmm. and, and here's the misguided position for a lot of these countries. It's like, we are going to make them compete for us. That's not what China's doing. Mm -hmm. China is strategically going out there saying, what do you have? What kind of infrastructure do you have that mm -hmm. we can buy? We're going to buy your ports mm -hmm. so that we can control everything that goes in and out mm -hmm. so that we can control mm -hmm. and track everything that goes in and out. Mm -hmm. We're going to control your, your toll system. We're going to control your road system. We're going to control your energy structure. We're going to control your natural resources. What the hell? That's what's happening in That's Colombia, right? That's what's happening right now in Colombia. That's what's happening right now uh, in, in um, I mean, you name it. You, you name it. Right now, Peru. Right now, uh, mm. uh, Argentina is, uh, is accepting a lot of money. So, so, these guys are going through a financial, to the extent that... You see, and, follow the money. And I want to link it mm -hmm. to what, right now, the, the, the U.S. military had no choice but to request uh, an additional $842 billion to be added with a sense of urgency to their budget so that our readiness for war is is really better positioned, stronger position. Because right now, if we went into, uh, it looks like we're going to be the ones with a little, you know, nail clipper mm -hmm. <laughs> fighting against it. It, it. Just think about how scary that is, right? But yeah. the problem is that you have an enemy that is now surrounding you, mm -hmm. right? And having the ability to dictate who does business with you. I mean, this is the, strategically, I mean, mm -hmm. they couldn't play it better. Um, the funny thing is that there's a lot of people that are supposedly fully engaged with the current economy and situation of China. And they're saying that China is, is due to collapse eight to 10 years from now. I don't see the evidence yet. 
I that's don't still, see the uh, evidence yet. And, a lot and, can happen. And, and that could, yeah, I mean, that could be the case. You know what I mean? But what I'm saying is, right now, right now, Maybe this right kind now, of move. That's why they're moving with a sense of urgency. Yeah. And they have a big opening. Not pretty, a thousand percent. Maybe that's the one thing that I wanted opening. to highlight. Right, yeah. right now, when it.